This is Eagle Owl, and let's get straight into it. Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt is on the free agency market. And um, the running back free agency, some of these guys are a little desperate. You got the Zeets. That's a little desperate. Kareem Hunt is another one. You know, his agent put out there or their rumor reports out there like, yo, Kareem Hunt will be lucky to get a one-year, $4 million deal. One year, $4 million. That's a lucky deal for him because he's 27. We know 27 is the older age for running backs. And um, last year, his numbers weren't the same. You know, last year, I think his total of yards was higher last year, but he did only average about 3.8 yards per carry. And that's the negative uh, about Kareem Hunt right now. It's the 3.8 yards per carry when you look at the stats. It, it kind of sw- it kind of sway you, but when you really watch the games, which I took some time to watch him, uh, what he do last year, to me, and I read this from Brown fans too. The offense was very predictable. It was predictable. Um, his quarterback was Deshaun Watson, who didn't play in a couple years, well, a year I think. Then you had Jacoby Brissett, who was his quarterback. So quarterback factor uh, hinder his production. Offensive scheme hinder his production. You got to think when he was there playing good, Baker Mayfield is not the best quarterback. When you got Odell on the outside, you got Jarvis Landry playing at a high level. You got uh, they tight end David Njoku playing at a high level. It opens up holes for the running back. So if Kareem Hunt comes to the Eagle. Eagles, more than likely, he's going to be a backup behind uh, Penny and behind Kenneth Gainwell. If we get Kareem Hunt, that let me know. And if we don't draft a running back like a um, B. John Robinson, if we uh, get Kareem Hunt, he can, you know, come in a couple times and then the Jalen Hurts legs will open up holes for him. A.J. Brown, Dallas Goddard, and Devontae Smith will open up holes for him. I'm pretty sure he would play really well on a one-year deal. Give him a one-year deal, like $2 million, and the sentence could be up to $4 million. But I'm telling you, he could be a really good third option. Then you could have Boston Scott really do special team stuff. Put him in a game here and there, but he could do special team uh, stuff. And let Boston Scott... And Trey Sermon battle it out. Let them battle it out. Battle it out for the last spot. Because Kareem Hunt is a dog. To me, they say he lost a step. I didn't really see it. Like I said, the Nick Chubb is Nick Chubb. He's gonna do Nick Chubb things, no matter the offensive scheme, no matter who's the quarterback. But Kareem Hunt, you know, when he's with the Chiefs, he had Patrick Mahomes. Then when he first came to the Browns, they had offensive weapons. Like, he used to holes being opened up for him, but now they, the uh, defenders just start loading up the box. And that did not help Kareem Hunt at all. Don't really got no scary receivers. Don't got a scary quarterback. I mean, it's going to hinder your run game. It just is what it is. But also, I got to make this point about B. John Robinson. So say we decide to take him at 10. You got to look at the money. Got to look at the money because the last year 10th round pick, uh, I mean, 10th overall pick was, uh, I think it was Garrett Wilson, Jets. He get paid, I think he on the $4 million, I mean, four-year, $20 million guaranteed, something like that. So he will be getting paid a lot of money. You can get Kareem Hunt cheaper, one-year deal. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell is young. Trey Sermon is young. Boston Scott, you know, he's young too. So why pay all that money to a B. John Robinson? Just give Kenneth Gainwell a shot. See what he got. Maybe draft a running back, which is six, seven round, six, seven round pick. But you don't have to get a running back that high. I truly believe in the running back room. I, I really do. A lot of people got knocks on there like, who's your star, this and that. I really believe Kenny Gainwell's that guy. 
bringing a big body running back like a Kareem Hunt who can punch it in so you don't have to use uh, Jalen Hurts too much. Uh, trust me, Kareem Hunt can still punch it in. Our offensive scheme, like I said, is way better than the Browns. He, he'll look good. He'll look good in green, man. He'll look good in green. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about Kareem Hunt possibly coming to the Eagles? Let him come to the Eagles over B. John. Don't really draft no running back and just sign the vet. I, I, think, I think he'll fit, man. I think he'll be a good fit. But this is Eagle Al. I'm out.